Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and you're not going to believe some of the prices that I found today. Today is Sunday, March 13th. I went to my Walmart store today like I said I was going to do in my live stream and report back to you. And you're you and you're not going to believe some of these prices and stuff that i found how much stuff is wait till you see how much canned potatoes have gone up to holy cow i tell you what i mean really the stores have empty spots i'm telling you i've got video of it coming up i've got some pictures and stuff i had to be kind of uh um they were watching me i think they knew i was up to something but i got it done and I didn't get caught, and I didn't get in trouble, and I didn't get thrown out. So it was a, uh, a plus all the way around. But you're not going to believe some of these prices. Now, also, this video is going to go into my video that's coming out on Wednesday and what I talk about in that video. So in that video, I'm going to put a link back to this video so you people can see how easy my method that i come up with on my wednesday video is going to be for you to do and so that you can um you know start prepping and start putting away supplies i'm tired of hearing people say i can't afford it i have a method and i want you all to check this method out the video comes out on wednesday but then you got to come back to this video to so that you understand what i'm talking about as i'm going to point it out in this video that's going to be starting right Hello, now folks. So we're starting off right here in the frozen pizza section in walmart and look at it it's uh took a pretty good hit and on the other side is the french fries and tater tots and onion rings and all that kind of stuff and that's took a pretty good hit too uh well a major hit i guess you could say i guess they just can't get the stuff in the stores but what do i know Rice. Rice is still here, but it's just shrinking. But the prices aren't too bad. Two forty-eight for a five-pound bag. Seventy-two cents for a one-pound bag, and for a two-pound bag, a dollar twenty-four. As you can see, the shelves are shrinking and stuff. But some of these prices and stuff will feed into my video coming up on Wednesday, folks. So make sure you fall back and you're going to have questions. Store is a little messy here, but as you notice, how they spread things out as we get down towards the ramen noodles. You know, when you, this video right here, you know, there's soups and everything else. And look how the ramen noodles are all spread out. Wow. Now we're to the pasta aisle. Well, yeah, what used to be the pasta aisle, I guess just, I should really say. Um, they do have some pasta on the shelves. Not a lot, but some pasta, I guess, is better than none, right? So, you know, they did have tomato sauce and stuff. But your vinegars and your oils and stuff, they have plenty of, but they're just spreading everything out. See what the oil, see how it's all spread out? The small bottles, they don't have a lot of, but the big bottles, they keep spreading them out more and more, folks. Now we get down to some of the sugars and stuff. Look at all that brown sugar on that top shelf, you know? I'm just spreading it out. And right here's the proof. You have this little section now. We used to have pallets on the floor of sugar, but now it's all in a shelf, all right? Sugar is still to, still relatively inexpensive, two dollars and twelve cents. That's for a four pound bag, though. We come down through, not a lot of pancake mix and stuff, and we get to the flour section, and uh, it was kind of hurting a little bit. And there's not a lot of great value flour, all purpose. It's a dollar fifty six, and this is another thing that can really play into my video on Wednesday. So then we go over to the canned goods. Look at the canned potatoes, $1.22 a can, $1.22 a can, folks. Wow. I mean, I can't believe that. I was paying 68 cents not too long ago. You know, they didn't have a lot of their vegetables. Um, they had the sliced carrots have gone up to 58 cents. They used to be 50 cents a can along with the green beans and stuff, but they didn't really have hardly any of the green beans. They had one flat on the shelf. So some of the other items, these have all gone up in prices also. As you can see, you know, you, you're looking at a French style green beans, Del Monte, $1.32 a can. I mean, wow. Whole green beans, $1.82. It's cheaper to go up front and buy it at the buy the fresh and make them yourselves now we're getting to the dairy section here the yogurt section was totally destroyed but wait till you see what they did with these 
cases that are sitting over here. You know those cases they put out in the middle? All right, this case was empty, all right? And they filled it up with one layer, folks, of yogurt. And the yogurt shelf is empty. I had to find the yogurt I was looking for over here. But they filled this thing up and the cottage cheese section was empty because they filled this thing up. Now look at these prices. Campbell's soup is all up to like a buck seventy-two a can, and that is just incredible, folks. I mean, the prices are really, really high. The canned goods section, as far as meats and things, boy, that took a major hit. It was hurting big time, folks, big time. Then we got over to the meat section, and that wasn't looking too promising either. And the prices, well, you might want to take a loan out of the bank for those, but you know the freezer sections that are just behind me you know they're pretty empty this used to be full of all different types of products and there's nothing there and then the one end cap well there you go folks it is just completely gone it just doesn't make sense does it okay folks thank you again for joining me today on survival preparedness for beginners and you saw some of the crazy prices and stuff and you also saw the prices of some of the other things on there and don't forget the video is coming out on wednesday you can fall back to this one here and you guys can do this okay follow my plan the video comes out wednesday i hope everybody stays safe i hope everybody keeps prepping i hope everybody keeps your head above water keep focused and until next time folks well i'll catch you all on the flip side